Chris here with Sunshine and we are going to work on his feet and this session is about a full coated cocker and doing the bevel. So let's tighten up here. All right, I'm going to start with the back bevel and I'm going to get my eight inch um, beveled edge shears and I'm going to comb everything down to the edge of my foot. What I'm going to, I'm going to turn them out towards you. Okay, keep that close. And what I like to do for my bevels is I want to scissor pretty even to the foot. Okay, oh, he is a big baby if you haven't noticed. Pull the hair between each toe. Okay, oh, you don't even have a tangle. Pull it down. Okay. And take these scissors. Now, if you don't trust yourself with these big fat pads, you can get a smaller shear and scissor level to the pad with a smaller shear so that you're not cutting over the pad. And that's a safer way to go. Okay. Once I get the edges done, I'll come back in with my brush and just gently touch up and that's going to lift a little more coat. Okay, and you're going to stay level. If you start getting um, in tight around the foot, you're going to end up making, um, like you're going to see the toenails and things like that. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take my 8 inch shears and I'm just going to scissor around the edge, the outside edge of the foot. Okay, and that gives you a nice line. All right, now step two is then once you get that looking good, then you're going to come in here with your hand and push. See how I push? Watch, boink, and you'll see the line that you started underneath. And you're going to come right here and you're going to scissor all the hair that you see hanging over that first line. And be aggressive because you can spend a long time fussing with these bevels. But look how nice that automatically put that bevel in. Look at that. Boink. Immediate. The other thing that you want to watch out for is to make sure that you didn't remove all your kick out hair. And that hair should be touching the comb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and hold that down in the back. And I'm going to clean up the back of that hawk just a little. But notice my hand is holding the majority of it. When I let go, again, you're going to get all that coat and angulation in the back. And then you'll just come around here and do the same thing on the inside. And that is the Cocker Spaniel Bevel.